Tactical Carl. So today we're gonna talk about weapon mounted lights. We're gonna have the breakdown on how to properly use that light, how to properly use that flashlight when that bump goes in the night, how to make sure that you can keep your family safe in the dark. Oh yeah, we're gonna go over different lights here. I'm using the night core. And we'll move on to something a little bit bigger here. We have a thousand lumen Stinger Giant Big Boy flashlight. It's Tactical Carl. Enjoy the rest of the video. This light on the market. Well, my favorite go-to light right now is the Night Core. So this is the Night Core. The Night Core is a very good light. So I like the Night Core because not number number one is the little hook that it has. You can have it in your pocket for everyday carry. Also, if you want to have it on duty, you can attach it to your belt and it comes right off. It is a great light. I mean, it's a great light. So it says it's up to a thousand, a thousand lumens. But the thing is about this light, when you have it in like a field or something like that, it has a wide expansion. So it also has like little quick buttons at the back. So I just press it and it activates scrope. I can click it on. I can press it again, press it again. And it also has like this LED, this blue light. So you can tell if you got sperm on your couch or anything like that. I, I, don't, I don't know, sperm, blood, all that good stuff. But yeah, like I said, it's a really good light. It has, it doesn't have a direct beam. It's like a wide funnel. And I'm gonna get to the Stinger. These Stingers are great lights. They're made by Streamlight. But the thing about this light is the battery life sucks. When you get to talking about this battery life, it sucks. The battery life sucks. Also, the battery is going to die in less than a year and a half. This light here is two years old and the battery is completely dead. No matter how many times I charge it, it's, it, it's, it sucks. 90% of patrolmen run a stinger just because, I don't know, Streamlight has made good lights in the past, but this light I wouldn't recommend. This is the light I'm using on duty right now, but I, I'm starting to have issues out of this battery. And I've been running this light for only a year. And the battery over time is starting to, I mean, just dis disintegrate damn near. That's to the point to where it's getting. You have your scrub 650. I keep a buster cap at the end of mine. The reason I keep the buster cap so I can make entry on a window or if I'm in a self-defense life of death situation and I need to use my light as a defensive tool. So that's a great option to have because you're talking to someone and next thing you know, they deploy a knife or gun or something like that. You can't deploy your weapon systems and you have to use that light in a self-defense manner. Both of these lights are the same. They're rechargeable. Just on this one, I keep the buster cap. And at the end of this one, as the light's dying again, because it can't hold charge. But you can see it been through hell, been through a few hurricanes and stuff, but still. That's neither here or there. We'll get to the SL20. So, this SL20. I've had this SL20 for about two years also. The battery is completely done on here. I don't know if it's me, but I doubt if it's me, but these batteries, they're, you. they're not lasting that long. I mean, they're, they're corroding. They are doing some weird stuff and that causes the flashlight not to work. This is the new, this is my new SL20 and I love this one. I actually do. I love, I love this one. Let's see. I haven't switched it out to see if this will work. Let's see. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Hopefully this is a battery situation. And no, it is not a battery situation. The light is completely done, which is, which is horrible. 
you should get more than four or five years out of a $140 light. And I'm only had this one. This is the stream light. This is the stream light. Which one is this one? The stream light big boy. That's what we're gonna call this today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out the tail cap on these two. So I'm gonna put the push tail cap on here actually. Let's see if this works. Yep. So now I have Nope, didn't work. Thought that would work. I was gonna see if I could put the push tail cap on here and see if that actually works so I can utilize the push tail cap instead of utilizing the original one. What the original one is, it's flat at the back. So having the option to activate it to the rear is not an option on here. So you have one point of contact. The point of contact is gonna be right here to activate your light. So activating your light, you got it right there. Activate that light, Wee! there you go. Let's move on over to the, I'm gonna put this on back on here. We're gonna move on over to, which one is this one? This is a Surefire, this Surefire. I acquired this from the Army. The Surefire, I don't even know what model, but this is what we was issued, attached to our weapon systems. There's no, there's no scroll, there's no nothing. You got your basic white light. It's decent, it was free. I used to have it on the home defense gun to upgrade it. And now I'm running something a little bit different. Let's move to the LA police gear. LA police gear. When it comes to lights, I can be very particular of what I want. LA police gear light. The first light I received from them did not work at all. I mean, it was completely broken out of the box. But these lights are for the price of $29. They're pretty good. This is not an LED light. This is your white light the white lumen, and you click it, got your scroll, got your different functions, high, low, off, really high. Hold it for three seconds, it's off. Bam, bam, bam. And it has the memory, so it can keep in touch where it's at. It's a good light. If they send you one that works, like I said, LA Police gives a really good company and most of the time, I've never had an issue. But when it came to the first flashlight they sent out, I think I chunked it across a field because I had such a bad time with it. That, uh, yeah. But yeah, LA Police Gear, decent light to use for the price. And we have the Academy brand. This is a Costa, I think it's supposed to be 650 this doesn't have a scroll. It has on off. If you want to use momentary, then to use utilize momentary, then you need to press the back of the button and have your quick pauses. That's going to be that. We also have a Harbor Freight, a Dorsey. This only thing this one gives you is high, low, high, low. You can rotate it. Have on something, rotate it, yeah. Then you go to your Gabriel. This is one of those lights I got off of Amazon that you could adjust the beam and all this good stuff with the rechargeable batteries that you stick in there. It's a decent light for 20 bucks. But talking about that battle light, this is a excellent battle light. Hit that scroll function. We got that weapon system. We punched out. We're doing what we need to do. And this is the light that I want to run on my firearm. Weapon clear. 